Okay, when we had this built house built about 20 years ago, one of the specifications I uh, put forward to the um, the Sparkies was I wanted uh, external power points fitted around the house. I've got three of them fitted around the house uh, for the uh, any situation where I needed to run um, grid power to operate tools or anything outside the house. A much safer idea than trying to run power leads through windows and doors and that sort of thing, uh, which can become very hazardous in more ways than one. Unfortunately, um, the type of power point they, they fitted, yes it is weatherproof, there's no doubt about that, especially designed for it, but this particular design uh, what we found was, uh, particularly on our western wall where, where most of our uh, weather comes from, wet weather anyway, was that this is all waterproof switches, they're all off at the moment. This is 240 volt AC, single phase, that's usually the main supply to, to my, most houses. Um, if we have a closer look underneath, you can see where you can plug in your extension leads to run power tools or whatever the needs to be run. Or requires grid supply. The problem with this particular type of design is that and they did it did happen, particularly on the western wall, um, when I've had extension leads running out and I've had a shower of rain come in, um, and sometimes uh, someone's you know has left, even though there's nothing connected there, they've left the switch this switch on it. it I'll switch this one. On. There it is. There's the red mark at the top there to say that that switch is on providing power to that power point there and uh, on occasions other people have left it on pull the plug out and we still got light power on that socket and what happens is that um, with water or rain particularly wind driven rain yes the internal of the box is fine but sometimes you get some water leakage down into here, particularly if you've got a plug sitting in there. And um, what happens is uh, it shorts out across the face of here, across the uh, the, the plug uh, connector pins, and that will throw the earth leakage breaker. Uh, I showed on a uh, pre previous video uh, as a safety feature. It's happened to me a few times. Now, I was rather disappointed with the electrician in this particular type of design. Uh, it should have some sort of cover over there, so that if you've got extension leads plugged in during wet weather, um, you don't have that problem of water seepage down onto these sockets, um, throwing your earth leakages or, or, or um, uh, breakers or, or tripping power switches. So I'll go around and show you another one I had replaced. Um, I've still got a couple that need replaced, but these are less exposed to the weather and um, they're not very used very often, so I know the status of the switch on them. So we'll go and have a look at another one. All right, this is on the western side of the house where most of our uh, weather comes from, particularly in the summer months with storms that come in from the west or the southwest, and this this western side of the house cops most of the weather, particularly uh, if it's got a bit of wind behind it, and a bit of hail and all the rest of the stuff. This is the power point that was giving us some grief. Um, with the old one I showed you, the, the uh, power socket was actually underneath, but it, it was exposed so when we had uh, rain yes the internal of the box stayed dry but we had water seepage down shorting out the pins on the plug you can see there there's no protection on, on the old one there's no protection there for the plug because it gets water seepage down the face plate so I had this one replaced um, and this is the original uh, outdoor power point uh, that should have been put on the house when it, when it was built it's got a cover on it like that so you get any heavy rain particularly wind driven rain 
it keeps the water off that face plate and any uh, leakage down across the pins on, on your um, uh, plug here. And since I've had that installed, uh, we haven't had any problems at all uh, with wind driven, uh, wet weather and uh, rain and so on and that, that sort of thing. It hasn't, it hasn't tripped the, uh, the breaker once. So uh, that, that's the type of outdoor switch, um, plugs and switches that uh, are available here in Australia. Many different designs, uh, but when the house was built, that was the design I wanted on there. So uh, I don't know what's available overseas, designs and some things like that, but the concept is the same. Um, with the generator, it's inside the power box, it's protected from the wet weather. Um, but as I said, for uh, if you want to run leads outside for working with power tools and whatever, um, with external power points like this, I had fitted a little bit of foresight and planning, I guess. Um, and that's the uh, the better design to keep the water off the face plate and uh, trickling down and, and sorting out the uh, the pins on the plug and throwing your earth leakage breaker. All right, folks, catch you later.